Okay, once again, good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? If yes, show me some reaction. All right, good. So today, uh, we're gonna see what type of form means and uh, how we can integrate type form with the notion. Okay. Um, so if there is uh, any uh, anything, just uh, uh, mute your mouth, uh, your microphone, and speak because right now I'm sharing your the full screen. Then I can see any of your reaction. Okay. So as I have been said, uh, today is for type form and integration of type form with Notion. And during this tutorial. We're gonna see what type of means first and how we can integrate with the notion. Um, furthermore, we will see the hands-on practices and question and answer, of course. And we leave you some references also. So what type form means? So basically type form, it is an online platform that allows us to create an interactive form surveys, quizzes, and more, and without any code being skip. So um, here, if you can have an idea of a type form, you can think about Google form, because I know many of the, many of you know already Google form. Maybe you have uh, interacted with the Google form in the past. So type form is the same thing, is doing the same thing like a Google form. So uh, you don't need to have uh, any coding skills before creating a type form. And you use type form when you need to, to collect data through a survey, a quizzes, and anything that you, you, you want to do by needs you to collect data. So those are the cases you use type form. Now, what are the key features of type form? So, first of all, type form um, has a user-friendly interface, which means that it is it will be easier for you to engage with it, and uh, you can fill out easily in a type form. So, the interface is so nice, so simple, so that you can interact interact with it. Apart from that, you can customize your form using the brand, your brand color, logo, and style. So you can make it yours. Moreover, that form provides you many templates and uh, based on your needs, you can use the template you want. And it offers also an integration, which is the main part of our tutorial. So you can connect Typeform with many tools like uh, Google Sheets, Slack, and Notion. In our tutorial, we'll see how we will do that with the Notion. And uh, as we have seen so earlier, you don't need any coding skill to use Typeform. So, uh, as we know about Typeform now, uh, let us see how we can integrate Typeform with the Notion. So, the integration with the Typeform, the, the integration of Typeform with Notion, it will allow us to collect first of all data, and that data we can synchronize that data with the our notion database and that will be automatically mapped to the question fields the question fields here are the question in the type form okay so we will map the question field with the notion database properties and you guys know already the vocabulary when we when we say uh properties uh, in a database of notion we mean the column okay so when we, we do that, what can we do with uh, that skill? Uh, after doing that work, 
what will be the benefit? One of the benefits is we can create a filter view. We can create an additional column with the information and we can share comment so that the members of our team can view and respond to the results. Okay, but what do we need to come with those things or to do those things? We need, first of all, to create a platform account. And after that, we need to have also a Notion account with admin assets. And the third thing, the last thing we need is to have a Notion database with the field matching our tab form of questions. So those are the three things we need to be able to connect or integrate the tab form with the Notion. So um, that in the general, what we need to know about tab form and the integration with the Notion. So uh, if there is uh, any question, uh, just unmute your microphone and speak. And after that, we can start the, the practice session. Is there any question? If not, show me some reactions so that we can go for the practice session. Okay, Terrible, you have the floor. Okay, thank you, Rodolf. Uh, maybe my question is like the this database, is it on the notion or the database on the uh, type of forms that we are talking now? Okay, the database of notion. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. like uh, like, uh, like you guys have seen with the Kero last time, uh, you, you've seen how to create a database in notion. So the idea here is to create a, a type form, a form, and with a question, a series of questions. And when the user use a fill out the, the question of the type form, we will collect the response into our data based in Notion. So right away, you receive the information in your database in Notion. So that is the principle. OK, good. So let us uh, let us start the the practice session. So the first thing we you're gonna see is to create our type form accounts because I said that we need two things. We need a type uh, type form account uh, notion account with the admin access and a database. So uh, let us let us start with the first one, which is to create a type form account. So to create a type form account, uh, what we need to do is to go to this website, uh, typeform.com, sign up. Okay. So uh, we you can Google that one or use this this link, and it will show you this page so uh in this page you can you can sign up directly with your google account or you can use your email account so uh i have already signed up but i will show you the way you can you can do that so when you say that you want to do that with the, your email account you provide your email here and the password you want to use and then you you agree uh, after agreeing, then you click on the create my my free account. And when you have click on this, you will receive an email. Okay, so you receive this email. Uh, activate your type form account. So what you need to do is to click in the on the activate my account button. So uh, it it will show you. Uh, it will send you back another another email and get more from your form and uh, here create your form so basically it will it will give you some information to start creating your first type form so 
that you what you can do to create your first type form I, I mean your type form account and your first type form okay and um, is there any question for the first part if you know always share Maybe some reaction sorry. yeah okay. sorry uh, the email that we are going to use is i think is uh, you can use the already existing email but what about the password can we use the same password or it needs its own password for type okay. say that again please therapy yeah uh, we will uh, provide our email when we are doing sign up for uh, type form so we can use our existing email right yeah you know you can create your own email a new email uh, your a new password it shouldn't be oh. the password a, a, a related to your account no uh okay. or, yeah so that password is for a tap tap form is not related is not the the your password of your email no is that clear okay the easiest the easiest way is to sign up with the, your google account directly but if i want to do that because i have already created an account it will it will it will come with this directly you see it will come directly here because i have already an account that's why I'm I'm using the email uh, uh, emails way to show you how you can do that also. I hope it is clear now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. So uh, let us see the the second bullet points uh, to create a new type form. So. So once guy you have all, you have created your your account, this will be your your home basically. Your home page will be this. So you can see here this is my account. Okay. You can see here create a new form. And uh, uh, there is something I want to show you. This is your workspace. So what you, what you need to do is, if you want, you can click directly on create a new form. But if you want, also you can create, you can customize your workspace by clicking on this button. Then you can create your workspace. I have created mine and I name it event. Okay, so I have named it event, and uh, I have already created uh, three uh, tab form forms and you can see that the the one in the middle i have connected that with the notion so we're gonna see those things very soon so once you are here what you need to do here is to create to click on your uh this button which is a create a new form okay when you create you click on that one Um, wait a little bit. So it will show you uh, this interface. And on this interface, you can start from scratch or you can import questions. Or you can create you can create your form with the AI. Okay. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna do I'm gonna go with the uh, start from scratch so that you guys can have a better idea uh, how you can do it properly even if you do not i mean you will know how it works in the uh, in the background okay basically so you click on start from scratch when you click on that uh, it will show you these windows on these windows you have other form elements import question create with the ai and you can see that what we have here contact information choice a choice routine ranking other test and video those are the type 
those are the depth of our equation. And those are those those that will match them with uh, the property, the properties of, with our notion database. So uh, like that, maybe you want to want to create uh, let let us say uh, um, a question that will that will request from the user to provide his name. So we can click on short short test like that when we click on short test you're gonna see this okay and uh you can here you can write what is your name what is your first name what is your first name okay you can write what is your first name when you click on that it means that you have already created your first question and the answer, the the we know that the type of, of that answer it will be a test. So when you have created your first question, you can do what can you do if you want to create the second one? You can add, you can click on add content, or you can click on here and duplicate if the question will have the same type. The answer of the question will have the same tab. You can click on duplicate. So, if for instance, when if I want to create uh, for the last name, I think it, it should be the same type, you know. So, I can click on duplicate and then I come here and I will change the, the question. I can ask here, What is your last name? What is your last name? Okay, so and let me create another question with different different type. Then I can click on this and I will use a drop and drop down. Okay. I will drop it down. And when I I can ask here, I the question will be maybe uh which which kind uh which is uh which kind of ticket which kind of ticket do you want? Okay, and then here I can provide the the different the different option. So what you need to do is to tap the different option. Then we can have a normal, we can have a VIP, very important person. We can have also V VIP, uh, very very important person. So when you have provided the different options, then you save your choices. When you save your choices, then uh, uh, yeah, it is okay like that. So, um, so this is how you can create your first form. Okay. Uh, so far, is there any question? Hello guys, can you hear me? All right, good, 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 good. good. Yeah. yeah, Wendy. Yes. Uh, good, 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 good morning. Good presentation. Yeah. Good yeah uh, please. I my question is about when I was trying to create the the notion. Is saying, do I want free or the do I want demo or free? So I was thinking maybe I should think free, but with this uh, type for now is it with the uh, am i going to link it up with the with the notion uh lamp page as a question these two questions i want please okay uh, uh let me start with the, the the second one the second one is is it, what you need to do is you want to connect you want to connect the platform with the, the notion database not the not the notion land landing page no we connect with the database because we want to co collect information from the from the tap form into our database now it depends on you when after you do that you can now if you want you can uh create some view from uh, your database and personalize it the way you want based on your 
good. Now for the first question, you asking if you can use uh, the the free the free version, right? I'm not. The free version of Notion is the is that the question? Wendy. Hello. Yes, I'm here. I can hear you. Okay, awesome. Yeah, your first question. I'm asking if I can use why create why why setting up the notion account is asking if I if I want the free or the demo. So I, I'm confused about which one should I choose. Is it the free version or the demo version, and uh, how to set it up? Thank you. Okay, good. I'll go for the free version. Go for the free version. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is there any other question? Yes, sir. Um, please. Sorry, I want to. At a point in time, my internet just tripped. It just went off. So I am confused as to how you got to this very page. So if you can quickly just kindly brush through for me, I'll be very grateful. How we come to the time form? Page. Yes, how you got to the question page, like after you created the interface. Ah, okay, 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 all right. No problem. Yeah, we do that with pleasure. So let, let us go back again to the time form. So what what I did, let me go back to the, my work workspace. So you see here, this is your workspace. And I was saying, first of all, that you can create your own workspace. And I created an event one. OK? So you can see that when I was, before it was three. Now it is four because I have created a new one. OK? So to create another one, another tab form, you just click on create a new form. OK? When you play, you, you click on that automatically it will bring this interface and asking you if you want to use a, if you want to create your first tab form from scratch or if you have already a question with, uh, somewhere you want to import those questions or if you want to use AI to create your form. So in our case here, we wanted to do that from scratch to see how everything works. So I click on scratch, and when I click on scratch, then uh, we, we have this interface. And this is the interface where we choose the top of the, the question, the top of the, the answers of our questions. So for instance, if you want that the, the user to provide a test, you can choose a long test or short test. If you, you want your user to tap an email, you choose an email and so on and so forth. So this is how we do to create the first uh, tab form. So let us say that you want the user to provide an email, for instance, I click on email. When you click on that, then you have the new interface, okay? And then you will ask the user, for instance, here to provide his email. Uh, uh, provide. Okay, what is your email? What is your your email address? So this is how we do that. Wendy, is that clear? Yes, please. Okay. And uh, to add something quickly, because we have created another one, when you go to the your workspace, I mean, you click on this uh, four square in in the in the uh, I mean in the left top. When you click on that, you you can notice that we have a we have now five. You have five forms. You see. So those the way uh, type form manager your 
your firm you have created. So I think if you, you were on the, 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 this one, the second one. Yeah, we were here before. Is there any question? Yeah. Say, say your words, please. Okay, so I want to find out that a uh, does it mean that per every per every individual who would sign up, you would have to create a new form? Or when you so let's say maybe you're expecting a participant of 50 people. Is the 50 does the form you create permit all the 50 people to um access the questions or you would have to create 50 different forms for 50 different people? All right, that's the amazing question you have you have uh, asked. So you just create one form, one type form. You create just one type form. You don't create many forms for uh, for all those participants. You create just one form, and then you can share the link of those form through through emails, social media, uh, whatever you want. You can connect them with the notion. And uh, people, when they will get into that form, they will fill out the form and you, you can collect the information into your database. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there any other questions? Just raise your question so that we can provide the answer to them so that it will be very clear for each of you. Okay, I think everything, everybody is on the same page now. Give me some reaction to confirm. All right, all right. So uh, let's dive in more. Uh, we've seen how to create our first new type form. So let us see how you can design that form. Okay, let's see how we can design that form. So, um, uh, before 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 going, quickly, yeah, it seems that like there is a question. Yeah, Collins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, the, thank you for the presentation. But I just want to know at what stage are you going to be showing us how we are going to. Uh, bringing in uh, the database from Notion to Typeform, is it when you are done with this? I know you mentioned that. So are you going to show that later? Please, please say, 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 that, say your you question again. Bring I database mean, from, you're, you're going to bring in the database from Notion to Typeform. Yes, so I'm, I'm asking, are you going to show that later or you've already done it? No, I will do that later. Okay, yeah, we, all right. yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that later. How to connect your tab form with the notion database and get the information from the form to your database. We're gonna see that later. Okay. So actually what we are doing is to create a proper a proper tab form before connecting that to the notion database. Okay, all right, let's continue. So we're gonna see how we can design, okay? Okay, so um, let's just, uh, let's just, oh, sorry. Let us go here. I want to see something quickly, the type of the question we need to, from the one I have prepared so far. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Ticket, event, email. Okay, all right. So let us pull up with the, the new one we are creating now. Okay, so uh, we can, the, we can. We can design, right? We can design now our our form. 
So what we need to do is what uh, is to click on design. We click on design. When we click on design, we can see that we have, uh, you can go directly on a gallery, gallery. When you click on gallery, you have already some free design here. So when you click on one, you can see it will change, it change already uh, the appearance. Uh, if you want this, you change the appearance. You will choose the one you you like based on your your taste. So when he provide, you see where he provide a diamond here. Uh, you need to have a, a fair version to be able to use those kind of design. So we, we are not going to do that. Okay, but if you want to customize your design to create something like that, maybe or may, maybe beautiful than this, you create you click on my themes. When you click on that, you can see that I have two here. I have created my first and my second. Okay, I will show you how you can create one. So when you, if, if you want to create one, you click on the plus button here. This one. I'm, uh, I guess you are seeing very well the, the mouse. You click on this one. When you click on this one, you pop out this, and you will set your your theme. Okay. So if you want uh, the type of the background you want, for instance, background image. If you want to add, you can add something. I will just show you how. Uh, if you want, you can upload from your computer. Uh, if you want, you can tap something like this. Maybe you want to use that background, this one. No, let us, okay. You see, you can add a background, but if you add a background, make sure that the, the, question, the questions are visible. Okay, I, this background is not, is not good for, for that one. So you can change uh, the test. Uh, you can use these. Those are the example. But uh, uh, this is not very good. But I'm showing you how you can design. Okay, basically, yeah. Let me remove the background. Okay, uh, you can so that you guys can see very well how. Uh, let Let us use this one for it. Yeah. Okay. Now for the button, you can use this, save it, and for the answer, uh, let us keep like that, okay? So basically, this is how you guys you can create your own design, uh, your own uh, your own design, okay? And after creating your own design, if you want, you can you can add the name. I can put here my third my third. Theme. And I, I click on save change. When I click on that, it is created. Okay, so uh, I can come back. Um, yeah, go back to the design. And you can see that I have three things here my, my third, my second, and my first. So if I click on, for instance, this one. You see that the appearance changes. So based on the design you want, you can design your own, or you can go to the gallery and choose the one you prefer. Okay. So this is how we design our form. Yes, the question. Yeah, Firoma. Firomsa, sorry, if I mispronounce your name. Yeah, you have the floor. Hello. Okay. I have no more question, but uh, most of the time I didn't assess uh, the tutorial, video tutorial. Uh, it is good uh, to upload uh, if you upload the, this tutorial on Slack or on other uh, platforms. Yeah, for sure. For sure, we will. We will. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. You are welcome. Okay. Okay. So let's continue with the.
this is time. I think we have uh, we have done with uh, how you, you can customize our our things. So once we have done with this, what we can do, um, we can also add. Uh, let, me, let me change this. I prefer the third one. Yeah. We can we can add some images uh, uh, to our our form here by doing what by clicking on image or video and if you click on image or video uh, yeah here we can upload your personal images or you can click on image here and you tap in the image you tap a name for instance i will type a, i will tap uh, passport for instance okay passport for instance when i tap passport i can click on one of them i can click on this one for instance when i click on that then it'll, it will upload the video here okay now what i can do is what based on you see here the layout i want to customize the layout the way it will it will, it will appear on desktop or mobile phone so on the desktop we have uh, different different layouts so i will, if i choose this for instance the second one then you can see that the image have changed so this is the way it will appear on desktop and uh, if uh this this is your choice you, you select this one how do you want it will appear on mobile phone for those who will be using mobile phone so uh, for mobile phone for instance it will be for uh, for the time being at it is this one okay this is the way to it will show on mobile phone for the one who access the the type of the form when it will be shared okay but if you don't want it will it will show like that you can choose this one so is based on your taste your style you choose the one you prefer okay so this is the way you can uh i will go for this again this is the way you can uh, customize your layout is that clear so far All right, good. So uh, once we have created this one, what will be our, okay, we want to publish. Okay, good. So, so before publishing, there is a point I want to bring, I want to bring to you guys. Uh, let, let, let me put it here. Um, um, logic this is the logic yeah let us see something very quick so so you guys you see you can do that for the other question okay i'm not i'm not going to do that but i have already showed you one example it is fine you can do that for your, for your assignment so let us see logic if you want to make our form smarter, we can use logic, okay? For instance, let us assume that we are using uh, a quiz, okay? You, you, have, you have a quiz, for instance, and you want to, to score your quiz, okay? Here you can provide some marks for your quiz. For instance, maybe we, we I, the question was, uh, was the result of two times three? We know that two times three it is six, and we suggest as the answer six, five, and four. So, for the one who we click on six, we we'll, we'll give him maybe five out of five. The one who will choose a four or five will give him zero and zero, something like that. So you can make our our uh, form smarter by using the logic. And you guys, you can explore that later to dive into that one. 
is that clear for is that clear for the, the idea of uh, the logic please come again with the logic please okay okay good uh okay good let, let me go back here I, I i will create another one so that to show that properly uh okay um Um, okay is uh is the three odds are even the answer of this question will be true or false right true or false so Okay. And I want to make, I want to make a, let us say that it is a quiz. I add this thing because uh, it works more for quiz, quizzes, okay? And uh, I want to make it more, I want to make it smarter. What I need to do is, okay, I will come here on the logic and uh, click on the, Quiz and scoring. Here we have a score quiz. I click on that. Here. Is through order or even? If the user click on, uh, oh, I'm, 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 I missed a point. The answer should be, uh, order and false, uh, order and even, right? Uh, let me go back again. Let me go back again. Uh, let me go back again. Okay. Uh, I keep like that. And I will say, uh, Three, three is, uh, I will say three is old. Okay, I say three is old, I'll go to logic, and then quiz and scoring, score quiz, three is old. The answer is true. I will put maybe 10 out of 10. The one who said that it is false, that person will get zero and I will save it. Okay. So when, when the, the use, the user of that form, when the form will be published, if in front of that question, the user check when uh, the question he asked three is old and he say true, he will get 10 out of 10. If he said false, you will get zero. Then automatically, your I mean, you can have the correction. This is a kind of you, the way you can correct your quiz quickly. And at the end of the the uh, of the form, when the user submitted submits the form, the 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 form will give the mark that the user gets. Is that clear now? Yeah, firm, so. firm, yeah, firm, sir. You have raised your hand. I'm hearing your question. You can see your question. Oh, he's not asking. You see, not say anything. Okay. Oh. Uh, Hiram, are you, did you mute your microphone or what? Because we can't hear you. Okay, so uh, let, let us continue with uh, publish. Yeah, tell us you have the floor. Okay, thank you. Uh... 
maybe uh, as a functionality for this uh, form, I mean, type form, can we use this for the uh, testing purpose, for example, in schools, uh, for examination, question and answer, uh, just to, to, to examine students in online form? And also, can we use it for the data collection uh, for for the uh, I mean, from the beneficiaries using the uh, mobile apps, for example? Is it supportive for other types of platforms uh, for data collection like uh, Kobo tools and and so on? So, can we use this for such kind of purpose? Sorry, maybe it's not related to the directly related to the topic. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you for raising that question. Exactly. Yeah, you can use that for that purpose. That is why the logic is there. And the logic is there to make your firm smarter based on the type of the form you want to use. Because you have different type of forms uh, based on your your goals. You can have some quizzes. You can have some survey. You can have some form. Okay, based on what you want to do, you can make it smarter. For instance, for the quizzes, by using by score, by pulling some marks for the answer the user will provide, it will help you to to at the end to give it a a mark to that user. Yeah, this is what I was I was trying to show you. So you can do that. Okay, thank you. So in this case, we can we, we it, it it has. Uh, you know, uh, a, a, a capacity to have a large number of questions. Like we, we can use uh, a long or long text, or like now we are using the short text. Likewise, we can use a long text to do such kind of uh, uh, activities. I mean, you know, the, yeah. the features can have uh, more than two or three pages, depending on the number of the questions, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why you can you, you they have separate they say long there is a long uh, a long test there is a short test so according to now I don't know how 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 many characters they 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 put behind the long test and how many characters they put uh, in the uh, behind uh, the short term the short test I don't know that one but uh, based on what they have they they have as a type. We can use the long, long, long text for, I um, mean, to write a lot of text. Okay, all right. So, um, let's continue. So, uh, sorry. So, this is the way you, let, let me show you. If you want to customize the name of your, your, your form, you can click on the form and then here we can write the way you want to let us put here test form or tutorial form. Tutorial form. Like that. Then the name has changed. So you know so far that this is our form during the tutorial. Yes, someone has always this one, I guess. No, no one. So, we continue. So, guys, when you have created your your form, okay, and you have set every, everything like uh, you design it, you you use your logic, okay, before being able to to share your your form with uh, anybody is prepared to publish it first. Okay, it is it is prepared to publish first because if you don't you do not publish it and you start sharing the link, it won't work for you. But before publishing, let me let let me uh, enter the the form. To end the form, you see here. We have endings. So you click on endings and you choose 
uh, what you want. I will, I will select end screen. When I, uh, uh, I put on end screen, it says, say, say, say buy, record the information with the ads. So I can put here. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you for your time. Uh, for your participation participation so at the end of your form it will it will show it will show that message to to the user basically to show the the graph to, to show it's graphical basically okay so once you have ended the form you can publish it. If you want to publish it, you just click on this button, publish. When you click on that one, we take some some time to, okay. How will you rate your experience here? Let me say very good and enter one, okay. Okay, your form has been published and this is the link. So we will copy that link. When you copy that link, so you can use that link now to, to share whatever you want. So this is the way we publish our form. And when we, we publish our form, we can share it. The share it is the same. Like a, uh, it will show you the, the link of the form. So I'm, I will cover right away uh, sharing, sharing your form is to copy, you see the link here, is to copy the same link. But what, before sharing, before coming here, it's better to make sure that you have published your form. That's why I, 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 want, I want to publish it before coming to sharing, okay? And when you do that, uh, I will show you right away and, a simple example here. Um, let me create. Uh, uh, let me create a, a second page. Yeah. Let me create a single page here. So you guys know how to embed something. So if you want to embed the tab form, you use a tab form, uh, we can use an embed. So you click on slash. If you click on tab form, you have tab form here. Okay. And you, you put your, your link here, you embed. And it will show you a different question. You see, now you have the different question. What is your first name? What, and you can tap your first name. And let us say uh, my first, uh, the first name I can put test. Uh, the, the second question is, is it old? Is it <laughs> three is old? <laughs> I put yes, two. <laughs> what is your last name? I will put guest. I click on uh, which kind of a ticket do you want? I put VIP. Uh, and then you have submit here. And uh, we submit it. When we submit it, you see the end of the, the form. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. So that's the way you, you, you share your link. You can also copy the, the link into email to share with people on social media so that they can so that you can collect the information from them so that's the way you you can share your link but i have already embed uh, i have already cover sharing and embedding at the same time okay and uh, now you can you are you are, we are going to see how you can connect with the notion when we have created our uh, our form. 
So to do that, you click on uh, connect. If you want to connect with the notion, you click on connect. Or if you want to connect with the other tools, you click on connect, okay? The connect is where we, you're gonna integrate the type form with the other tools. So you can, we can search the name notion. Okay. When we click on, when you have notion, then you click on connect. So first of all, it will ask you to connect your tab form account. You will click on authenticate. Okay, you click on this. When you click on this, you will accept it. Okay, so after it will ask you to connect your Notion account, you do the same. So here you need to give access and you need to make sure that you have admin as admin access to your notion to be able to do that. Okay. So you select select pages, you select pages, and you select the page where that you want to connect. In my case, it will be uh my uh, Nova, my Nova events 2025, all access. I give all access. And here, map type of filter to Notion property. Okay, here. Here, I need to choose the database I want to use. Okay. And uh, why I'm not going to use that right now? I'm not going to use that right now because the example, the, the, the form I'm doing in that tutorial actually. I didn't match that data, uh, that type form with uh, my database. And we said that we need three things. Uh, we need three things to be able to do a, pro a good integration. We need to have a type form account, a, a notion admin account, and we need to have a database that match the form. But what we have created, I didn't match the form. So I cannot really continue. So what we need to do is uh, we will go back and I will I will take the one the form I did before. Okay, we we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna take that uh, and uh, I will show you how we do that properly. So let us take this event uh, event type type form. Okay, let's take this one. Let us say that this is our form you have created, okay? Let us imagine that this is the form you have created and this is the form you want to integrate with the, you know, uh, we want to integrate with the, uh, how to say that, with the notion. Okay, so um, we need to have a look at our database. Uh, let me see. Let me go here. For it. This, this is my database. Okay. I have first name, last name, email, uh, event, and ticket, ticket type. Okay. So you know, you know, you know how to create a database, right? You know how to create a database, don't you? Okay, good. So when the database is created, 
I need to I need to to have a look at how I made my data base. Um, how did did I name, name it? Nova Event Registration. Okay, this is the name of my database. Nova Event Registration Database, right? Okay, so uh, I come here. I make sure that I have the same, I match uh, the question response to my database. And then I will use, I, I will use this to create, to connect with my, my notion. So I click on connect. I click on notion. You see here, it, will, it is already in blue, which means that I have already done that, okay? But because I want to show you how to do it again, I will, I will do what I can click here and I will delete it, okay? I will delete it. When I delete it, now you show to connect. I hope you are following me. Then I will click on connect. I want you want to do that on the scratch, all right? So authenticate. I will authenticate my account. I click on accept. I click on I will connect also my nation account. Okay, let's pages yes then i will select nova events i will get all access okay here we're gonna map the database okay so i will choose here you see those are the database i have in my case i have Nova event registration database. I have a uh, event database, and this one I didn't give a title to that database. Okay, so I click on this one Nova event registration database. When I click on this one, pay attention to that part, it is very important. So it will ask me here to select a type form question. And here it will it will ask me to to select a a field to map it. So I click on what is your first name. I click on that, and this is for type form. Here is for the 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 database. Okay. So in my database, if you remember, uh, let me go here. To show you, I have first name, I have last name, I have emails, I have which event, and I have ticket type. So we we'll come back again here to the notion. You can see that we have each event, we have a last name, you have first name, you have email, you have ticket type and name. So basically, here, okay, uh, in the second uh, drop, drop down we have the properties of our notion database. So we will match that one with the first question of our form. So I will click on first name, first name, which means that when the user will provide a, an answer to that question in our database, we will have the answer in the first name. All right, so. Let us continue with the second one, which is your last name. Our last name, uh, okay. What is your last name? Okay, I make a mistake guys. Uh, the mistake is I didn't save. I need to save the mapping before continuing. So I save the first one. Uh, No, 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 I did a mistake. I did a mistake. It doesn't. 
my friend. Uh, yeah. Now we need to go back again because I, yeah, we need to go back. We need to go back. We need to, we need to redo that. Let's, let's do that once again. Maybe I should edit that one and I try to be fast. And Okay. You, we are almost at the end, so. So here, we are going to map. We are going to map, okay. So, what is your first name? My first name is the first name, I map it. So what we, I need to do is to click on the, the plus button to add more properties so when i click on that i will click on my last name what is your last name i will map the last name i click on the the plus button to add more features the my first question is uh, what is your email address i will match my email address with the email properties i will add more uh, which event are you going to register? Uh, I okay. I will put that. I which event? And then the last one is a uh, uh, a ticket. What is your ticket type? Okay, I will put here uh, ticket type. Then. When I map everything, the form and the, the form from the type form and the database from Notion, then I can save my mapping. And then I will map. When I map it, and I will click on uh, this term that I have accept, and then I will receive that message. Type form and Notion are now connected. So this is the way we connect the type form and notion. And now we're gonna see the last step. I mean, the last thing uh, For time being, is there any question for that part? Okay, good, good. So now uh, as we have connected, then let us see how uh, we can see the result and the, the results. Uh, before you see the result, we need to we need to go back again here. Um, Okay, yeah, okay. Now guys, we have connected our tab form with Notion, okay? What we need to do now is, is to copy, is to copy the link. We need to go to share, we have seen already. We copy the link. And when we copy the link now, we are going to use it, whatever you want. You can use that one in your email or and your social or social media. But we, we want to use that in our uh, our notion. So I'm going to notion now and uh, I'm going into the in that event. Okay. Uh, the new year exhibition registration. Okay. Basically. So, so you guys, this is the, the database, okay? This is the database. You see this. I, I'm, I'm going to show you the steps of the database first. And then when you will add something, 
you you will see how you will change automatically. So the database itself is here on this page. Okay. And what I did here is to link the database in the same page where I want to use the registration so that you guys can see directly what's going on. Okay. So I have already integrated that one here before, but I will do that again so that you guys you can see how it works. So what I need to do here is to uh, I will uh, click on slash and embed. I can use the embed or tab form. Okay. Earlier, I used it in a tab form. I can use it in bed. Both the works. Okay. So, so. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At this time, you can use you your microphone. Okay, it's fine. I'm, I meet it already. So, let's. Come back to green to our mission. So I I copy the the link and I embed the link. Okay, embed the link here. When I embed the link, you see automatically it it is started exactly. Then we have our form in our notion. You remember that this one was here. This is what I did before. This the new one is what you and I we are doing in that tutorial right now, so that you can see how things works. So we can put here. Um, I can put here new new registration. Okay. So we have. A new registration here. So together, um, you're gonna fill it and submit it, and you will see that you're gonna have the the answer here in our database. So, uh, what is your first name? I want someone to to say. Uh, let Let us use one of one of you. Mm. Okay, yeah, I'll put, I'll use the name of Terepe, can you use your name? Okay, yeah, all right. Okay. okay, so uh, what is your first name? I put Terepe. I click on the okay. What is your last name? Uh, I don't know the last name of Terepe. Numero, numero, M-E-M-R-U. M E M I U. R U R U R U R. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay, good. So, uh, what is what is your email address? So, uh, I guess it is a therapy. E R E M E M R U. Thirty six. Thirty six. By like this. Yeah, at gmail.com. Okay, all right. Back up. So, which event are you assist? Are you registering for? So you click on you you, you drop down, and you will select the event. So we have many events here. Okay, you have four four events, right? Which one do you want to uh, to attend? The second one. The second one for fashion. You click on that on yeah in Lagos. Now, uh, what type of ticket do you want? VVIP. Okay. Oh, why are you going so fast like that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're going so fast. Okay, let me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you have VIP. You said right. Yeah, sure. Uh, 
Oh, let, let, let me put the VVIP for you. <laughs> it's my pleasure. <laughs> okay, then then we can submit our form. Okay, so thank you for registering for registering. You are appreciated. So, and let us go and see in our database what is going on. Uh, my mother is good. If you see that in our database, yeah. Uh, you see, in our database, you see therapy, name rule. Therapy, you see the email of therapy, you see fashion and design, this is the type of event therapy want, and we see the ticket, it's bought. He bought VVIP. You see? So this is how you integrate. Uh, you can use uh, the type form to collect data and integrate that data into our database. So, and normally here, you, um, if you have, if you have it. You see now, here, after the registration in our database here, we see TRP enroll, we see the information on TRP. So, so this is how it works. Is that clear for everyone? All right. Now, uh, as we have we have done it together, let us see the results. It, it remains last thing, last of things I will share with you is to show you the results. So, for the results, you go back to time type of form and you click on results here you click on results you will see here you have a two response this okay you can see those people who has who has already registered for our event so we have therapy we have test we have a route we have rudolph and we have those information here. It's like uh, basically the a kind of the database, but on this one is on type form. You can see the result on type form. This is what I'm, sh I'm showing you right now. Okay. And uh, you can manipulate the way you want. You can filter it uh, the way you want. You can even see the summaries. Uh, and the inside, this the inside I wanted to show. Okay, so um, those those features are are requesting the pay version. So I'm not going to to use that. So here is is simple. How many how many views? How many times I review that form? The start of the submission. How many times did I start, start filling the form? And how many submissions we have? The completion rates. So you can see that we have four submissions. If you go to the, you have one, two, three, four. We have four submissions. So, those are the information he is putting here. And uh, this is how you can see and view the results of your type form, basically. Yeah. So. Uh, this is the, the end, basically. If there is uh, any other question, you can say, you can say it and we will cover them again. But if no, you can share some reaction.
So I hope you, you can complete your task from today. Yeah, maybe uh, from my side, like uh, it is a bit a long tutorial, perhaps in ever. So uh, we need to get this recording as soon as possible because we need to see or watch it again and to have you know more clarification because because of its uh, uh, time i think uh, it's good to look at it again and again and again so that we can be perfect on how to do all these things yeah for sure you're right you're right it is a long tutorial yes with many details so yeah we will make sure that you you will have the, the recording as soon as possible yeah is there any other question if not we can wrap up the, the tutorial we can Show some reactions for confirmation, right? <laughs> if not, I can know. All right, all right, all right, all right. So it has been a pleasure to see you guys here. And uh, yeah, I think you guys can, can now.